Hey, I'm Teacher Josh, and I'm teaching a little grammar here. And essentially in English, you can ask the same question about where someone's from two different ways. You can use the be from, or you can use questions with where. All right, so let's look at the first example. You would say, are you from Togo? The, que the answer is, you can answer it obviously in the negative or the positive. Yes, I am. That's the short version. Or you can say, yes, I am from Togo. Or, no, I am not. No, I am not from Togo. Okay? So you see the be verb, the subject, you, and then the location. Is he from Brazil? Positive. Yes, he is. Or the long version, yes, he is from Brazil. No, he isn't. Or no, he is not. Or no, he is not from Brazil. Okay, so that's how you can use be, all right, from, to form a question. So I could say something like, are you from Puerto Rico? And you could say, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. All right, you can also just use the question starting with where. Where are you from? Ah, interesting. I'm from Togo. Or where's, or where is, notice the apostrophe S here, that means where is. Where's she from? She's, or she is, from Brazil. All right, so that's our lesson on using the be from to create a question, or using the question starting with a where. Hey, one other quick little note, just so nobody gets confused. With questions, notice they're different from a statement. A statement goes subject, verb, object. In these questions, though, the verb comes first. Notice you've got the verb. You've got the verb. Then you've got the subject. Okay? Same thing here. And it's because it's a question. you got the verb and the subject. Here, you start with the operator or the information word, where, but same thing. you got the verb, subject. You've got the verb and the subject. All right, be careful of that so that you don't make mistakes with word order when you're writing in English. Hey, if you like the video, I hope you'll like it down below. There are also some other helpful links in the description section down below. Uh, that will help you practice these different things. Hey, please subscribe and uh, let, let me know what you're thinking. If there's a uh, certain grammar you're having trouble with, just let me know down below in the uh, comment section and I'll try to create a video just for you. Thank you.